Login accepted. Hey everyone, this is Freddy, and in this video I'm going to cover how to back up the Canon image under advanced settings and the address book. So why do we need to back up the copier? There's actually two reasons why you'd want to back up the copier. One of them is the customer has purchased a new machine and you want to transfer all the settings including the address book from the old machine to the new machine. The other reason you want to back up the machine is if you're getting into any 602s, you're having hard drive failures, and if you can still boot up the machine, you can back it up. That way, if you replace the hard drive, you can transfer any settings that might have been lost. So we're going to go ahead and open up the browser, put the IP address into the address bar, and then we're going to log in. The default username is administrator with a capital A, and then the password is whatever the password is. Once we log in, you're going to go to Settings Registration. And then go to Set Destination. And in Set Destination, there's this setting called Address Book Export Settings. A lot of people don't know this, but if you check this box to include the password when exporting the address book, if the customer is using scan to folders, this will actually export the password for the user account that is programmed into the machine to access those folders. Without checking that box, you don't get the password and then you have to go hunt for the users. They need to ask their help desk, hey, what's that password? This avoids that situation. So now we'll scroll down and we'll go to data management. And now here we can import and export all. We can import and export individually. So I like to do redundant backups. So I'll normally start with export all. And then you check this box to select all. And now enter an encryption password. So we're going to keep that a standard and we're going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you click on start exporting. It's asking you if it's okay. You click on okay. And now you get this message export has started. So what's happening right now is it's a creating an export file. I'm going to go ahead and open the Canon Remote Operation Viewer so that I can show you what the copier's control panel looks like while it's creating this export file. So as you can see, it's exporting the device information. Now it says export may take a few hours, but I've actually never seen it take a few hours. It average it takes about three to five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and once that screen goes away and it comes back to the main menu, that means the export file has been created. So now I'll go back to the browser, click on check status, and now I click on start downloading. Now if you have your browser set to ask you where you want to save it, you can save it wherever you want or it might just download to your downloads folder. Now I'm going to go to import export individually and click on device settings. Click on export and enter in that password again 1234567 and also put it in the confirm box and then click on start exporting. I'll go to the top and click back to the data management screen and now I'm going to import and export the address books individually. 
So as you can see, the address list 1, 2, and 3 have addresses in them. Don't have anything in the one touch, but some customers will have something in the one touch. So I'm going to start off exporting address book 1. And click save. And then I'll choose the drop down menu. And I'll choose address list 2. I just want to make sure that it takes the password. So I'll re-enter it and then start exporting address list 2. And then I'll go ahead and do the same thing for address list 3. The reason why I back up the DCM, the reason why I built back up the filter, the reason why I back them up individually is because you never know if you're going to run into a problem. What if the machine that you're installing doesn't take a certain file? In this case, you, at least you have all of these because the old machine is gone now. But for the most part, pretty much any image runner advanced, the DXs I've also done them, they will take the DCM file and you should get everything across with that. And that's all there is to it. Until next time, this is Freddy, signing off.